I don't believe you. I know when I was, I would much rather be outside the classroom. And yet, there are uh, physics teachers who would rather be in the classroom. And yet, there are 57 million children around the world who have no classroom to go to. 57 million, that's three times the whole population of New York State. And they can't go because, as Marina said, they can't afford to go to school, because they're too sick to go to school, because they live too far away, although I know I've seen children who walk two or three hours every day just to get to school and come back, because children thirst for education, as I know you all do. Please, uh, I believe uh, this cannot be uh, uh, just uh, ignored. And uh, uh, we all know that uh, maybe we all belong to a, a different uh, culture and uh, uh, different backgrounds, but uh, we all know the power of education. We know that uh, education can uh, uh, lift people out of poverty, that education can give opportunities to further in love, that education means also good health, uh, education means that we care about the environment, that we understand uh, what is happening in this world. And uh, as we say, uh, uh, I would say in the United Nations, uh, education is life transforming. But you have to know that uh, uh, there still in the world there are 57 million children that don't have access to this education. Um, I would like to uh, thank all our uh, partners, uh, UNICEF, uh, uh, all different uh, uh, partners from the NGO, the World Bank, the United Nations, the Small Group, the World Bank, the Gems Foundation, one of our privileged partners also. Uh, in uh, education from the private sector also working with us. Uh, uh, we think that uh, it is uh, one of probably the most uh, noble goals that uh, we are fighting for. It's a cause to fight for education, to aspire to uh, give education to everybody.